Hi, Robert Anthony here for Audio Tuts Plus. Logic Pro 10 ships with a brand new sound library, including many updated Apple loops and sample instruments. However, when you install the sound libraries, you are not given the option to install any of them to a different hard drive, as you were in past versions of Logic Pro. But, taking advantage of folder aliases inside of OS X, it is still possible to transfer the bulk of your Logic Pro 10 samples and Apple loops to a different hard drive. Before we look at how to transfer the sound libraries, let's explore the reasons why it's a good idea to use a dedicated sample hard drive when using computer-based music production software, such as Logic Pro 10. Traditional hard disk drives can read or write data to or from the disk. And while they perform these actions several times a second, they technically cannot both read and write at the same time. For most day-to-day -day computer use, this is really a non-issue. However, when the operating system is attempting to read a large file from the drive, or multiple large files, such as when loading a sample-based virtual instrument, the physical limitations of the hard drive begin to become noticeable as the hard drive has to momentarily stop writing so it can read the large files. Apply this concept to a music creation environment, such as inside of Logic Pro 10, and multiply it by however many sample-based instruments, audio files, and Apple loops that you have in your project. Your hard drive is having to both read all of these sample files and store them into the RAM, that is, if you have enough RAM to store them all, as well as having to write any temporary files that are created when using the music program. Some sample-based virtual instruments also stream the samples from the disk, as opposed to caching them in the RAM. That is, by design, the samples will not be stored into the memory, but will strictly be read or streamed from the hard drive. All of this adds up to one hard drive doing a lot of reading and writing, which can unfortunately cause performance issues. But by storing your sample-based libraries on an external hard drive, you are not only dividing up the workload between two physical drives, but you're actually allowing both hard drives to perform together the read and write tasks simultaneously, something a single hard drive physically cannot do. Your main hard drive that is running your computer-based music creation software is able to write and perform all the tasks needed to run the software smoothly, while the external hard drive is able to simultaneously read the samples from the disk. Now that you have an understanding of the benefit of using a dedicated external hard drive, let me show you the locations of the samples and Apple loops that ship with Logic Pro 10. Most of the samples for the sample-based virtual instruments inside of Logic Pro 10 are stored in Macintosh hard drive, library, application support, Logic. The folders we're interested in moving to our external sample hard drive are EXS Factory Samples and Ultrabeat Samples. I'll open a new finder window by pressing the keyboard shortcut Command N and I'll navigate to my external sample drive where I wish to store all the samples. I'll click and drag a copy of the folder I wish to store on my external drive and copy the files over. Now that they've been copied to the external sample drive, I'll create an alias folder by right-clicking and selecting Make Alias. I'll drag the folder alias back to the original location of the folder on my system hard drive. I'll then delete the original folder containing the audio samples, and then finally, I'll rename the alias to the name of the original folder. Now, as far as Logic Pro 10 is concerned, the samples are still in the same location because of the folder alias pointing to them on the external hard drive.
The Apple loops that ship with Logic Pro 10 are stored in Macintosh hard drive, library, audio, Apple loops, Apple. Now, you may see other folders contained here. If you do, feel free to move those as well. Because I also have Logic Pro 9 installed, and I've previously moved all the Apple loops to my external sound drive, Logic Pro 10 is actually using the current indexed location of them. Now, here we can see all of the Apple loop libraries, including the jam packs, as well as all the new categories, such as dubstep. For demonstration purposes, I've already transferred them over and created a folder alias. In past versions of Logic Pro, you could re-index the Apple Loop library by simply dragging the folder into the Loop Browser inside of the interface. But because of Logic Pro 10's new menu options available at the top of the Loop Browser, you need to use an alias folder in order to keep all the available folder options. Now, while the benefits of storing your sample libraries on a dedicated drive outweigh any drawbacks, there is one thing to keep in mind. Storing the additional content that is available for download in Logic Pro 10 will give you a false notification that you have not actually installed the sample libraries when checking the additional content list by going to Logic Pro 10 Download Additional Content. As you can see, the content the dialog window is saying is not installed is in fact the content that we just moved and is still available in the loop browser. In this tutorial, I've shown you how to transfer your Logic Pro 10 sample libraries to an external hard drive, as well as explaining the benefits your system will receive by using a dedicated hard drive to read the large sample files from, in addition to saving you close to 35 gigabytes of space on your system hard drive. This is Robert Anthony for AudioTuts Plus. Thanks for watching.